today is our first session on rhyme and rhythm and I've brought some friends along to help us. First of all, I have dragon in a wagon. Okay, I have frog on a log. I have parrot with his carrot and I have a box. Hmm, I wonder what can rhyme with box. Shall we see what's in the box? It's fox. I have fox in a box. So all of these animals have rhyming things, don't they? Dragon and wagon have un at the end. Fox and box have ox at the end. Parrot and carrot have ut at the end. And frog and log have og at the end. And because the ends sound similar, they rhyme, okay? So rhyming words are words that have a similar sound at the end. Today, we are going to learn more about rhyming by singing some nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes are a really good way to practice our rhyming, okay? Let's begin by seeing which nursery rhyme characters we have. We have Twinkle, twinkle, little star, a little fish, Humpty Dumpty, Hickory Dickory Dock Mouse, Incy Wincy Spider, and Bar Bar Black Sheep. Today, I think we're seeing Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Would you like to join in this time? One, two, three Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I'm going to teach you how to play a new game. It's called Odd One Out. The game is about rhyming words and we know that rhyming words have the same sound at the end of their word. As in dragon in a wagon. So our Odd One Out today is the word that does not have the same sound at the end as the other two words, okay? I've brought Dragon along, he's going to help because he's starting to get really good at rhyming. So shall we see if we can find the odd one out? So Dragon, are you going to help? Yes, I am. Okay, so we have spoon, peg, leg. I'll say them again, spoon, peg, Leg. I can hear a oon at the end of spoon and I can hear a egg at the end of peg and an egg at the end of leg. So dragon, which word do you think is the odd one out? Spoon. Is he right children? Do you think spoon is the odd one out? Let's listen. Spoon, peg, leg. Yes, I think dragon is right. I think spoon is the odd one out. Well done. Let's try again. We have a goat, a coat and a mug. That's a goat, coat, mug. So which do you think is the odd one out? Which word has a different sound at the end? Do you know dragon? Goat. Oh, so dragon said 
goat. Do you think goat has a different S ending? Let's listen. Goat, coat, mug. Hmm, I think that goat and coat sound the same at the end. So dragon, mug is the odd one out. Mug doesn't rhyme because it has an ug at the end of its word. We're going to play a new game. I want to see if you can move in time to the music. So when I beat my drum, I want to see if you can march like a soldier, moving your arms and your legs in time to the beat of the drum. Are you ready? Are you keeping up with the beat of the drum? Let's try again. Fantastic. Oh, it's Chef Pickles. Can you say hello to Chef Pickles? Hello, everybody. Chef Pickles, I would like to make some pretend stew for my teddy bears. Do you think you can help me? I will tell you what to put in the pot for the stew. Oh, thank you, Chef Pickles. What shall I do? What shall I do? I want to make some pretend stew. Put in a toy cat. <clears throat> what shall I do? What shall I do? I want to make some pretend stew. Put in a hat. So we have a cat and a hat. What shall I do? What shall I do? I want to make some pretend stew. Are you sure? Put in a rat. Well, children, can you remember what Chef Pickles? asked me to put in the pot to make our pretend stew. Let's have a little think. We put in a rat, a hat, and a toy cat. Do you notice anything special about those words? Tell the children then. They all rhyme. They all have at at the end. That's right, Chef Pickles. They all have at at the end. Listen carefully and see if you can hear the at. Rat. Hat. Cat. Yes, we've just made some at stew. Should we put it all back in the pot now? In goes the cat. In goes the hat. In goes the rat. Children, what we've made is pretend stew. So all the things we've used are just toys. So unfortunately, we can't eat it, can we? We're going to do a little bit of wordplay today. I'm going to hold up some objects and I want you to say the words and clap them as you say the words. So it would be like this. So if I hold up pen, you will say pen. There's just one part to pen. Pen. So that's one clap. If I hold a pencil, pencil, there are two parts to pencil. So we say there are two syllables. Let's try and say pen, pen. And let's try and say pencil, pencil. Okay? Pen. Your turn, pen, pencil. This time, I'm not going to say the word, but I'm going to see if you can guess what it is I'm clapping. If I'm clapping pen, there would just be one clap, just one syllable in pen. And if I'm clapping pencil, there would be two claps. 
because there are two syllables in pencil. There are two parts to the word, okay? So see if you can guess what I'm clapping. That was pen. Listen again. That was pencil. Listen. Do you know what that was? It was pencil again. It was pen. Pen. Pencil. Before we finish for today, should we have a quick game of I Spy? So I'm going to say a rhyme. I'm going to say, I spy with my little eye something rhyming with the word box. And then you're going to choose which object it is. So today we have a fox, cat and frog. Are you ready? I spy with my little eye something rhyming with box. What do you think it is? Is it a fox? Fox, box. Hmm, maybe. Cat, box. Hmm, frog, box. Which one do you think it is? I think it's fox and box because they both have ox at the end. We've reached the end of today's lesson, so from me, dragon in a wagon, fox on a box, frog on a log, and parrot with a carrot, it's a big bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.